Like every there was this one man see me the whole time. Like bro G, you know the woman listen yes the song through your headphone. <laughs> it was amazing guys, honestly. To miss it was to diss it. Let me know in the comment section down below whether or not you guys peeped that as well. Like these men came off as actual bread jeans. Like, and I know that they, they, I know that they are friends. I know that they are really close behind the music, behind the scenes. But it was just so amazing to see because a lot of times when we think about the elders in society and we think about like our elderly Jamaican people, especially from Beris Haman era, them kind of come off very proper and very unrealistic in terms of feeling like people should be perfect and they try to make it look like they are perfect and back in my day and everything about for them time they just perfect and we just know that's a one with yourself or whatever it was so amazing to see his respect for Buju shine so bright even with Buju's past and what Buju had to deal with no less than two three oh gee <laughs> yeah no less than two three years ago so that was amazing big up yourself buju wantan big up yourself berry Taman. i enjoyed that that was probably the most fun of the collaborations that night of the guests buju definitely brought some fire to that stage and i think he helped to pull berries out of his shell a little bit because before buju came on stage of course berries was berries was singing oh sorry mr hammond was singing his roots and rock reggae and really you know the lovers anthem then and you know everything is just nice but when buju came on stage is really when the fire light under berry's foot and him a dance and him a go on and buju sweat till him fool hey listen to me listen to me now ramp with buju you get where me i come from so that was amazing big up yourself love that collaboration before we jump into the next guest review i have to big up the backup singers for berries girlfriends listen me me i don't know me i represent you know, tonight them moves that my girl them my girl them my dance son i was like yo and then them outfits i love i was obsessed with their outfits they look so beautiful it was just really nice and then when me i watch a live performance you know my sir I think we didn't record myself a little bit, but whenever I record like my outfit, me I wear one long brown dress, so me feel like me fit right in, and I think I'm going to show a picture of what I look like in the dress that I had on that night, and trust me, angels, me feel well in in, in place, me feel well a part of the whole vibe of that show that night, and me was like, me and the backup singer them much like what, so big up on yourself, backup singers. You guys were amazing on the help bring off the show I'm not the lie. and the band the band was superb the man them where i played the saxophone and the wind instruments when the man blow him neck puff too me I say yo that's how years of blowing a saxophone you know what make your entire neck and your face is a part of the wow it was just it was just oh. Me can't gloat all night about how much we really enjoy the entire setup. I suppose everything be nice. Everything did nice about the live performance, except the audience. Except the audience. But anyways, moving on. The next person that he brought on stage with him was Marcia Griffiths. Now, Marcia Griffiths only came on and sang one song with Beres Hammond. But that song is so iconic, it don't even funny. Okay, you get where I'm coming from? If you should see me crying... Would you assist in mending my heart that has been broken? Oh, it could be you and me.
know why YouTube copyright me. But that song, them could have sing it 50 times and it feel like a 50 different song. I love this song. I'm sure the rest of Jamaica and the rest of reggae fans all around the world love that collaboration as well. And she come out and Marcia is aging backwards. That's a number one. I think that's the one I know them right now. That her outfit was amazing. Girl, you need to start probably sell clothes. Marcia Griffiths always in a some design. When we feel like she have her own tailor and her own dressmaker our yard, we still don't import our expensive fabric from Africa and India and make her clothes for her. I can't be to nobody else around that just like Marcia Griffiths. Girl, you need to open an online store. Um, Griffiths apparel or Marcia wears or something. I don't know. Link up your girl. We can probably talk business. But her outfit was amazing as usual. Dance moves were on point. Barry even pointed out to listen, you have a dancer, you do for me, you know, and she bust the dance. And me, I said, yeah. You saw me telling people, me, I review the show, I'm full of excitement. That's why I'm upset with the audience. They never did a show on the excitement. I'm going to say, you're not viewing on the iconic. You're going like you can't see legends in front of you. You're still on a cover with face and I'm going like say, you're not full of excitement. You're upset me, see? Anyways, dance moves on point. And she's aging backwards. Literally, that right on for Marcia Griffiths. Girl, Miss Lady, big up yourself. That was just amazing. Now, last but not least, Pop Con. Shake my hand virtually, Poppy. Shake my hand virtually. Because you see you, you see you, if them you turn and look where you do and not take notes and I learn, I don't know where they must spend them time and do and who of the business that inspire them. Who of the business you not look up to? Because popcorn has shown exactly what supposed to do. Me never. I was like, I never said I never know because I could kind have of swear me the ear something like that one time so popcorn and bury someone do a song together but I never did really know about it like for having at the back of my mind say yeah man this is definitely one of popcorn's work because it's not something that is promoted this song is amazing God is love amazing amazing Chuck as a matter of fact Yo, it's God is holy. I think this was off by either Barry Slash Project or his album Forever. I forgot to do some research for finals, but. How much dance all artists can sell them have a song with Barry's Aman, a living legend like that? How much I don't know? How much I only can't say it when he can't say it because all I want to do is, is, is sing the handicap song them where all it do a gear vibe, but it's not a substance. And when pop can hold on and, and stop the music, that song is still big because the song iconic. That's why the man say he might deal with world music, he might deal with music of a stand the test of times. He might just want a hit because it's something sound good for the moment. He wants something where years after people pick me, pick me, pick me, I'm gonna listen to it. And that is so true and it's testament to all the moves that he's been making in his career. And I appreciate it because it sets a wonderful examples for people who are already in the business as and, and also upcoming artists. But if you wanna observe what they're gonna know. When you now go catch a formula, when you now go see what I want. You get where I come from? Keep on, I do this. Big up yourself, Popcorn. God is love is amazing. I love it. Respect to world music, but don't talk about that already. I told already some make my notes while I watch a show, you know, because the session is, you get me, lit. And then I also write on a lot of artists could not hold them on with various facts. No found no couldn't own no only berries on a stage like that. Popcorn embodied what the man's brand was. He never come out and I yow and I go out with a bag of foolishness and a trouble and a bag of sin. No. Him come out and him literally embodied the brand of Barry's Hammond. It felt like he was a part of reggae culture, but at the same time, dance all. It was like dance all meets reggae fusion and it was beautiful. And I appreciated that so much. You get where I'm coming from? Fry your one, man. Yeah. 
See who we are watching it? The legend. See him here. Yeah. Alright, say that you your fuck. And then as I'm right down pan my book, dance all shine bright. That is really it. Popcorn allowed dance off to shine really bright on that show that was reggae packed because Buju is a reggae artist, Marcia Griffith is a reggae artist. So to see Popcorn on that stage as a dancehall artist owning his own in a reggae, you know, show, it was really just amazing to see and I'm super proud. Super proud. I couldn't be any prouder. All right, angels. Well, you have come to the end of my review. That is really what I had penciled down to talk to you guys about this live show. Now it's your turn to let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. Remember to also like the video, give my like button some love, show my like button some love, and to also subscribe to the channel. If you're a fan of dancehall, this is definitely the place you want to be. We do videos like this all the time. And also share my videos with your friends. Share it. Share it with everybody. Make dancehall global. Make this session global. You get where I come from? Yeah. And follow me on all social media. Links are always in the description bar down below. Until next time, angels. Walk good. All you beautiful people out there in the world. Bye, angels. <laughs>